Hello, you wonderful people out there. This is Christopher Watson. I want to thank you for joining the channel. And I mean by joining, I mean watching the channel. Three subject matter today. One, thank you subscribers for getting to 100. Um, I know it's a small milestone, but 100 subscribers is 100 subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing and keep on watching. There's going to be more content coming out. Number two, I am going to start a new segment, which is called the Day of the Commute. Basically where I talk about cars or different subjects while I'm commuting to work. And then I'll upload it later in the day. So it may be a few hours behind or maybe a day behind. So, so like today, if I get this uploaded tonight, Today is Thursday. Right now it's Thursday morning. It'll be uploaded Friday night. Or it'll be uploaded the next day, so it'll be Friday. And then Friday's video will be uploaded on Saturday. So I think I'm going to try to do that. I may try to do that every day. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Or every other day. So I may do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or something like that. But we'll see. Third subject, not yesterday but Tuesday or two days ago from this video Road and Track released the specs from Ford Motor Company about the Ford GT. If you are any kind of an auto enthusiast you know that the Ford GT is a bad you know what. The Ford GT the specs are obviously we know it's a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. If you didn't know that you're living under a rock. It is pushing 647 horsepower and 550 pound-foot of torque. Those numbers can be compared to the McLaren 675LT and the Ferrari 488 GTB. The weight of the Ford GT is going to be 3,054 3, pounds compared to the McLaren and the Ferrari, it's about right in the middle of those those guys. Again, I'm gonna have the specs to both cars in the video somewhere, over here, over here, somewhere, okay? Ford GT has a carbon fiber monocoque, which is basically the, the part where the, the driver and the passenger sit. And then the body itself, or most of the other components, are aluminum. That's kind of, that's still kind of heavy to have a carbon fiber monocoque, an aluminum body, well, Ford has active aerodynamic components in the, in the Ford GT and also some suspension uh, components that are heavy as well. So that is why it's a, heavy, a heavier weight. But if we compare 3,054 pounds to any other normal car, that's actually pretty light. Let's look at the Ford Taurus, or even the Ford Focus RS. Um, those are not light cars, and they don't have nearly as much power. Ford was doing something right. The other part that I kinda wanna talk about is, the engine is an all aluminum component, so aluminum head, aluminum block. That 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6 is actually using the F-150, and the Raptor, and I wouldn't be surprised to see, not that exact engine, but that engine being used in other cars as well. The Ford GT's top speed is 216, and I believe the other two cars top out at like 206, or maybe even 210, but top speeds don't really matter. Now, price point, the Ford GT is going to be the most expensive compared to the other two. I believe the Ford GT is going to start at like $400,000. I think that's quite expensive, but I don't work at Ford, and I don't know the market. Actually, I know the market, but I mean, it's Ford, and I know Ford is stepping their game up a lot, but come on, $400,000 when the other Ford GT that came out in the early 2000s or mid-2000s was like $150,000. I'm just calling inflation on that, especially when the engine that's being used is being used in the F-150. You comment down below if you watch this video. If you comment down below and tell me what your thoughts about the car are. Do you think the car is beautiful? 
Do you think it's worth four thousand dollars? Do you think they should have came up with a different engine to put in the Ford GT compared to the F one fifty, the Raptor, or whatever other car they put this three point five liter twin turbo in? Because I'm just one person, one opinion. But I do love the car. So it sounds like I don't love the car, but I love the Ford GT. I actually had a chance to see the Ford GT in person at the Detroit Auto Show this year. Ford GT. That is all. Yeah, the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, or North American International Auto Show, and it is gorgeous. Both the street car and the Le Mans race car. The Le Mans race car is beautiful just because you know that it's crazy, crazy, crazy. And it had holes and dirt and everything all over, so it's been through some bad. That's all I can say. That really concludes my talk that's probably a little bit longer than what i thought it was going to be but that's going to be my one of my new segments i'm still going to try to do some car event coverage and and maybe in the the grand tour coverage or grand tour reviews but i think i'm going to do this more as well because i have more time to do it because i'm driving all the time on the way to work because it sucks so thank y'all for watching Thank y'all for subscribing if you're already subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And to everybody that is subscribed or is going to subscribe, on the home page of this channel, there's a subscribe button. And then right next to it, there's a bell. This little bell is a notification button. And all I need you to do is when you hit subscribe button, you hit the little bell button because it gives you a notification that I just uploaded a video. If you don't hit that notification button, you don't know I uploaded another video. And then you're going to miss me. You don't want to miss me. Do you? Do you? I don't know. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I would appreciate it if you shared the video, but that's up to you. And on a positive note, light is always more prominent than dark. So you be the light in this dark world, in this dark country, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.